Hey everybody, MyFitnessPal is super easy to use on the app. However, I've noticed that it's not necessarily standardized between iOS and Android what the actual interface looks like. However, on the desktop, which we have here, it is pretty standard. It also looks pretty similar in the app to what it looks like on the website. Now, when you're keeping a food journal here, you can add some food and there's some great features I want to go over. So, my Fitness Pal gets to know you. It will realize what foods you are frequently eating. It will notice which foods you've recently ate. And it also gives you the ability to save entire meals. So for example, I eat the same breakfast every day so I can save that meal. It also allows you to put any recipes for foods that you might have meal prepped on a Sunday into the app and then just break it out into however many servings you've actually prepared for that week. Let's use breakfast today as an example. You'll notice here that all of the recent foods that I have, all the frequent foods that I've put in here are all here. It also has my food, so anything that I've saved here. I've saved some Beyond Macros recipes. I've also got meals, nothing saved yet. We'll show you how to do that, as well as some recipes. Again, some Beyond Macros recipes. We'll quickly go over how to use each of these, but the great thing is that my fitness pal remembers all my recent breakfast food. So if I need, I can just go in and be like, okay, I had eggs, I had four um, going through, I had oatmeal, I had one cup, uh, maybe I cooked my eggs and oatmeal with some coconut oil, uh, and let's say I had one apple. And let's just pretend that I do that every day. What I can do is I can add those checked to my breakfast, and if this were the breakfast that I eat every single day, I could come down here to Quick Tools. On the app, sometimes it's just a dot, dot, dot. And what I can do is I can go to Remember Meal. And then from there, it's gonna put all of the items from that meal in here. I can give it a name. So Matt's Egg and Apple Brekkie. Save the meal. And then if I were to go to Tomorrow, I could go to add food, and instead of having to check all those things, I just go to meals, I check the meal, and it's gonna put all of those foods in there. So it just saves me the step of having to check all these things, especially within the app, going in, searching, and putting each food in can really become tedious. The other really nice thing, in addition to the fact that you can use the saved meals, you can use the recent and the frequent foods, is that you can use the recipes. So if I go in here, I can just add an entire recipe. Let's say that I've got a recipe that I eat all the time, this one pot cilantro lime and chicken rice. I had one serving at lunch. I can go and I can add checked. And that's going to put in all of the ingredients from there. I can also create a recipe. So if I go into recipe, the recipe builder is super easy. If you're using a recipe from a website, you can just paste the URL into here and import the recipe, or you can add the recipe manually. And all you have to do is say, let's say it's chili. Uh, you could go in and you literally just put in the ingredients and it's going to do the search for you. So let's just say I'm doing ground beef, tomato sauce, peppers, and let's just say lard for the heck of it. Match ingredients, oops. And I know that I'm gonna eat this for uh, five meals. So it's gonna be dinner for Monday through Friday. Go to match ingredients and it's going to pull things up for me. So it says one pound of ground beef. I can edit the quantity. Let's say that I put three pounds in there. It says one cup of canned tomatoes. Well, I want to edit the quantity rather than a cup. Um, I probably put in three cans, eight fluid ounces, uh, one gram of pepper. Um, I might want to replace this because it probably is thinking black pepper. So from there I can search red bell pepper. It'll pull up some results. I got raw red bell pepper quantity, one large bell pepper. Add that in there and one cup of lard. Let's say that I didn't, oops, I didn't put the whole cup in there. Maybe I put in quarter cup, all right? So I can just add all these ingredients. They're all in there. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save it and log it. So it's gonna ask me today which meal I wanna put it in. We'll put it in for dinner. And I had one serving, log it. 
And there we go. That makes it easy. I had one meal for lunch. Oops. One recipe for lunch, one recipe for dinner, and I had a saved meal for breakfast. Now, any snacks I had, I can put them in there. If you're constantly eating the same snacks, it's going to be in there. Recent snacks, maybe you have an RX bar, and it becomes super simple. Another thing you can do to really make keeping a food journal easy is if you do most of your food prep on a Sunday, you can just come back to your Sunday. From there, you know, you, when, you're, when you're keeping the food journal, put all the food in there. From there, you might know, okay, lunch and dinner, I'm going to have the same recipe. And you can just go to add food, take the recipe, beyond macros, one pot cilantro lime, chicken and rice, throw it in there. Super simple. Now the other thing that makes this really easy, if you're doing the same thing every day, you can just go in, go to Tuesday, go to Quick Tools, and then you can copy from yesterday and it's gonna pull in exactly what you had yesterday. So if you're eating the same meal, you can again use these quick tools just to make you keeping the food journal super easy. So rather than having to put every single thing that you put in your mouth in individually, MyFitnessPal has some great tools that are gonna make it easy for you to start cutting down the amount of time you're taking to keep that food journal.